Hey, what's up guys? Footy Manager TV here, and I haven't really made an Ultimate Team episode in quite some time, so I'll go with my third episode here in my Road to Riches, playing with a discard team. If you're not sure what it's all about, go check out the first episode, and then you'll find out what this series is really about. But if I were to summarize it in short, it's just buying players at discard price or close to discard price, then playing them until their contracts run out or their fitness is too low to play them. And then you would obviously discard the player or quick sell as it's now called. If they're a non-rare player, you'll get about 300 coins. And if they're a rare player, like I have some of them in the team, you'll get about 600 coins. So you can, there's, very, uh, there's a good amount of profit to be made. If you don't spend real money on the game, that's good to do. And more fun in my opinion anyway. I just uh, used it for the fun of opening packs. But if you're not wasting money on the game, that's something good to do. Though if you're one of those people who takes your ultimate team online record very seriously, I wouldn't suggest you do this because you'll lose a lot of games than you would with your normal best team as a lot of people like to call it. But if you are one of those people that needs more coins to compete, make your team better against like those little kids who use their parents' credit card for the ultimate team packs, uh, to really make teams they don't really deserve. You should really at least give this method a go or just watch my series, my future episodes and see how I do it. So it took a few goes to find a guy that had a good connection with me. Of being from Australia, we'd sometimes get matched against guys from Japan and yeah, or Singapore or some other Asian countries like that. And it's a very bad connection. I'm, so, I'm sure if you're from Australia, you know what I'm talking about. But here we've got find a guy called Sweaty Goals. And yeah, I'm guessing you can guess what his team is. So yeah, have a guess of the players kind of players he's going to have and see if you were right. Look there, Ashley Young, Balotelli, Walcott. I think you guessed right. David Luiz, I'm sure you had him in there. Gal Clichy. Uh, so yeah, sweaty goals. Um, how much goals do you think I'm going to lose this match by? Maybe 6 six nil, something like that, as I have an early chance here but was defended well. And you might see some cases in here of him just trying to run past me. These guys with the sweaty goals names, they have no idea how to play properly. And yeah, eventually you know how these guys play. They all play the same. And you know how to defend... See there, he just tries and run past you. But it wasn't working there with some good defense by me. But these guys are really bad players. They just try and kick the ball forward as soon as they get it, as you'll see evidence right here. See, it uh, doesn't even look just uh, really spamming the pass button. I'm guessing that's how they play. Ireland, he had the volley there. Pretty good shot uh, to get it on target. Then we have a chance from a corner here. Uh, we got... John Arnarisa taking the corners. Fantastic corner taker. Then Kenwin Jones comes in for the header and scores our goal. Looks like we are going to score some goals in this match. Um, and really, with the pl way, he's, way he's playing in the first couple minutes, I wouldn't be surprised if there's more to come. And here's the pace abusers showcasing their talent. Look at that. He just tries and run past me from the kickoff. What is that? Seriously. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know why they think he's, they're going to run past solid defenders like that. But anyway, moving on. They win the ball back. Going to try and create another chance. But then again, he runs runs through me on this occasion somehow Walcott um, our defender must be a ghost but in the end Walcott isn't a great finisher uh, maybe not in real life scored a hat trick recently but in the game he's not really as clinical as that and this pretty much sums up pace abusers they run down the wings with the fastest players in the game and then fail at crossing it then it was our chance to try and get a goal nice steal by Saha there very good strength he had Ireland there all by himself on the left foot with the finesse right there. That's 100% finesse for you. Perfect shot by Steven Ireland. So I would imagine at this stage, this guy, he will be pretty mad thinking he was really good as a sweaty goals with his sweaty goals team, but he hasn't scored any. He's, again, trying to run past. I'm not sure what he's trying to do there. Heaps of people try and do that, and they always fail against me. I'm not sure about you. They just try and run at you and expect to, your defenders to be ghosts or something. I'm not sure what's going through their heads, but I'm, I'm guessing they're not they don't play football in real life. And in all honesty, these players are really easy to defend against. A cross there by us by Ireland wasn't that great, but he's going to just rush pass it out again. And look at this shot by Jakob from outside the box. Finishes. That's his second goal for us uh, for a defensive midfielder from outside the box. Very impressive what he's putting in for us in really as a cheap signing. He's scoring goals from outside the box twice. Uh, he's done that. If you see the previous episode, he's done that with a goalkeeper actually there. So uh, he's been uh, surprising as a goal scorer. And I'm not sure about other people. I'm really trying to analyze what he's trying to do in this match. But he is, has no like game plan. He just tries and rushes the ball forward, rushes defenders forward, and finds us easy to score. Let's just see what he tries to do here with Young. Nothing. We just be able to tackle easy. Uh, again, he tries to get it to Young down the wings. They only have one way of playing. It's run down the wings and cross it and hopefully get a header, header goals which are abused or overpowered slightly in this year's game. 
Anyway, Ireland gets past again. Look at that strength. Unfortunately, we couldn't score them, but again, he just rushed it away. Um, and one of their players run into the post there. Uh, seemed to be, be a bit confused with that. Again, he just tries to run past me. When is he going to learn? That's not happening in this match. And again, almost, we not, might get a goal from this. Again, another poor pass. Ireland has a shot. It's saved. Kenwin Jones on the folly finishes. We are on fire in this match. Four goals in 35 minutes. Fantastic play by us. And actually, this is why I stopped playing because I kept playing against pace abusers, but maybe I got better at the game suddenly. So I may start playing some more and making fun of these pace abusers because they have no idea how to play. Um, maybe it's something to do... People sometimes say handicap. I'm not quite sure what that means. People complain of handicapping the game, which, what, is this golf or something? Uh, I'm not sure uh, what uh, people uh, people make excuses these days. But anyway, moving on. Uh, they create a chance... But yeah, um, that was pretty easily saved. Another poor cross by them. And this is one reason why I don't understand why people pay, like spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for packs. You can still win with easier teams. You just have to be a good player. And if you're a bad player, you're still going to lose against some people that are actually good players of the game, That even if they have a worse team than yours. And really, an ultimate team, I don't love anything more than making people angry. As you can see, when, when they start sliding around like that, you know they're pretty mad. And yeah, they're pretty angry that you, they're losing against a really bad team. I would be mad if I was losing against this pretty uh, crappy team, pretty much each player at discard price. So... Uh, yeah, I would be pretty mad. Look at that. No shots on target by him and eight by me. Just shows my dominance with 60% possession as well. And I think this guy needs to work on his defending. Just look at this terrible defending by him. Well, first, he's in defense with the ball. We just intercepted. Nothing too bad there. But look, Ireland against this player here. That's rubbish defending by him. And again, able to get past. Then just lands to Saha and he finishes on his right foot. We just keep on the dominance into the second half. 49th minute, Saha... Very deserving to get a goal, um, assisted for Ireland earlier in the match, and there was his goal. But I'll be honest with the results, I don't always win, Oft really, most of the time I don't win, I try and get draws, uh, because it's really hard, most of the time you're playing against a good player, because the, ma the matchmaking by EA is pretty much rubbish, and I'm sure you know that already, it's just random, it's not matched by your level, uh, yeah, EA don't really care, they just want the money from Ultimate Team. And that was probably the major reason I'm not playing it as much as last year. Uh, the single matches were removed, uh, which was... Re I really enjoyed that for making fun teams like silver teams and not really worrying about getting relegated from head-to-head -head seasons. was so much fun last year. Head -head, the matchmaking was a bit better, getting matched against similar teams, silver against silver. And then again, look, Nolan could have finished, but off the post. Now, Ireland from range, look at that. Very good. He was on a pretty much tight angle, but when you've got an open net, really, uh, you can't really miss from there. But he had a lot of power, so I wasn't sure if it was going to go in. But there's the 6-0 win. I thought it was going to be 6-0 to them, but it ended up being 6-0 to us. Very good ratings from Ireland and Cameron Jones as well. Fantastic players for the prices as you can get them. Ireland, very underrated. Look at his card. You don't think he's good. But yeah, he's pretty good passing. Not bad shots. As you saw, he scored twice. And also, Kenwin Jones, very tough to deal with in the air, and he's got pretty good pace. Very similar to Drogba, in my opinion. But that's pretty much it for this episode. I've got a few extra things to show in. I'm going to show you how I build the squad and stuff like that, which hopefully you'll be interested in. Like here, removing uh, when you discard the player, I'll show you how you search for players, which guys to go for, and things like that, how to search, and that kind of thing. So yeah, hopefully you enjoy the videos, and I'll see you guys soon with more episodes in this series.